Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. If you guys watch me butcher the pigs up, you know that we took all this um, belly fat pretty much for uh, to make into lard. So today I'm going to get this rendered down. Uh, I chose to do it in a slow cooker. You could do this in a stock pot. You can do this, you know, on the stove. You can do this in the oven in a pan. But we're going to get this rendered down into lard, get it jarred up, and then the leftovers we can make into cracklings. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this cut up into just some small chunks. I've got some that's from the pigs I butchered, the pig I butchered, and I've got some store-bought stuff here too that I'm going to get get all made into lard. So the first thing I'll do, you want to cut this into chunks, and if you see any bloody spots or any meat, you want to try to get most of that out. You don't really have to get all of it, because that'll just turn into the crackling part of it, but... What we're going to do, we're going to put this fat into the slow cooker, we're just going to put it on low. But you want to put a quarter cup of water in here, just to keep it from burning in the beginning, and then that'll eventually evaporate out of all this as the cooking goes on. I pulled out a second slow cooker here with uh, all of the pig fat from the one that we butchered is here and I'm going to put the store-bought stuff in this one. I just don't have room in this one to pack it all in. With the store-bought stuff here now, this is $1.15 for 2.955 pounds so it's really cheap. Uh, we'll do it separate just to see if it turns out any different. Uh, I know how my pigs were raised. I don't know how these pigs were raised. I have to trim off a little bit of meat on here, but like I said, you don't have to be real careful with it because we're going to render the fat out of this and all the other rest of it will make into cracklings or you toss it or whatever. But anyway, as far as with uh, using lard, we use it all the time to season the cast iron fry pans. I don't cook with it a whole lot, but every so often there'll be a recipe that needs it. But anyway, this is a good cheap way to make your own. All right, well, these are all cut up now. This one over here now, you can see you're starting to look greasy on top. It's getting warm in there. So I just have to actually move this one because I have to find a place to plug it in. I don't like how these things have such short cords. All right, there we go. This one's in there, just like the other one. A quarter cup of water, the fat, put it on low. Now we're just gonna let them sit. Well, it's been a couple hours now. And you do want to mix this every so often just to get, you know, it's always hotter on the bottom. But I'll show you a close-up look. I'm getting a lot, look at that, a lot of good fat. All right, so here we are about four hours in. Try not to fog up the lens. You can see we've got a lot of fat in there now. But that stuff is still floating. I have to wait until the fat chunks start to sink, and which they're starting to do now, and then I'll be able to run this through some cheesecloth and make some lard.
cracklings. Okay everyone, well here we are the next day. Uh, you can see we're done. You got to see all the steps last night that I went through. I took the one out of the jar and put it into one of these containers. Melissa had told me to do that because this is a lot easier for her to get at to use. Uh, when this cools down it automatically seals itself so this can sit on the shelf or anything. And this one here is easier to use. Uh, you can see though that it come out nice and white. And if you look at this, right there, regular lard. The lard, now that turned out real good. Uh, the cracklins, a uh, whole nother story. <laughs> when you buy cracklins in the store, this is cracklins right here. Homemade, they're crunchy. They're really good. These have the taste. I mean, they taste really good. But um, these were just done in the oven. These are done deep fried. They take the fat and sometimes there's still skin on it. They deep fry it or just fry it in a fry pan. Turns out crunchy. These are more like, I don't know, kind of got a crunchy outside kind of but then the inside it's just grease so I don't you know how when you have one of those pieces of gum that you would chew on and then it would burst with flavor <laughs> that's this with grease so anyway they taste good they look good I wouldn't do this again well thanks a lot for watching everybody and we'll see you on the next video